Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. A church you can call home, a church where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. And not only that, we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Uh, if nobody's ever told you this, I want to tell you right now. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. And he wants to use his body to go out and reach these souls. Amen. And uh, wherever you happen to be, wherever you happen to work, wherever you happen to shop, wherever you happen to uh, be at, you know, that is your area of ministry. You know, a lot of us don't want to extend out and go out because we think we got to go way across overseas somewhere, you know. No, it's your area of ministry. It's right there where you work, where you live, you know, where you shop, all these areas. You are the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will be around it. You know, some people will never see. So, you know, you can do it. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So let's remember this. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. He's got something for you. Don't ever say, well, he ain't got nothing for me, or he forgot about me. That may be the way you're thinking, but he ain't forgot about it too. God sent his son, sacrificed his son, and his son went and gave himself up for us and paid the price for us. So none of them, they didn't forget about you. We forgot about him. The problem's not up there. The problem is here. And we need to fix this. Amen. And we can do it. We can fix it. We got to get it right. Amen. So allow the word of God to bless you. Encourage you, change you, and correct you. Today we're going to be talking about victory in Jesus daily. We can have victory in Him daily. What do we need? Well, we need the Word. We need Him. If you haven't confessed the message, you know the Savior. It's time you do. A lot of us are still running, to run and run and running from Him. You know, it, let's come home. It's time to come home. Answer His call. You know, He's calling you, but we're not answering. You know, He's sending you friend requests all the time, and we're just deleting them. <laughs> accept it and it was time to come home he's got a mission for you and you're not going to fulfill that mission he put gifts and talents in you and you're not going to use them one day you'll have to stand before him and say you'll have to answer for yourself there's no friends around you just by yourself and say why did you not do this for me and you're going to have to answer well, well I was too busy other things no mm -hmm. it's time to give in and receive him and start doing for him Big or small, it doesn't matter. If you're doing it under him, he's going to bless you. And he's going to be happy about it. Big or small is not the way he works. The mere way he works is he wants you to be available. And he wants you to accept him. And accept what he's got for you. And you can go and do what he wants you to do. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So victory in him. God's not finished with you. He wants to bless you more and more each and every day. Before we get into the word, let's make this declaration together. Grab your sword, sword your God, and uh, and let's uh, say this together. Amen. Whew. Let's make this declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Get your mind right. Get your mind right on him, you know, because uh, there's many distractions. And the battlefield, the mind is the battlefield, and it's going super fast. And there's all kinds of things, you know. You, well, the Cowboys ain't playing today, thank God. But uh, your mind is probably, it says, man, I've got a whole lot of priorities this week. I've got a whole lot of things this week. And, you know, you start prioritizing these things. Well, God wants to visit with you, and you're too busy for him. Amen. We got to open up and just give him a few minutes. Amen. He wants to bless you and he will if you let him. So praise God. Woo, victory in Jesus. Have victory in Jesus daily. It says victory is mine when I put my faith and trust in the Lord instead of my own. You know, when we talk victories, you know, we're talking about wins. And all we think about is, uh, you know, uh, elections. All we think about games, you know, uh, whether it be uh, professional games or it be card games or something. I went to Vegas and I won, you know. There's only time we think about victories. We don't think about victories when it comes to, to Christ because we're not focused on the things of God. We need to remember 
we have victory and he won the victory for us so we don't have to uh so we don't for, forget these things it, listen to this it was not the giants in the canaan land in the promised land that kept the israelis out it was the fear because of words they sent 12 spies two of them came back with good reports 10 of them came back with negative reports so the majority won <laughs> no we can't do that man there's giants in the land you know on a daily basis when you go out there's giants waiting for you and if you don't spend your time with him and get yourself right and spend you know get your priorities right with him him first giants are waiting on you amen and if you're not right with him them giants are going to have you on a daily basis but you know what you can have the victory you know i think i told you last week uh, david was sent to bring lunch to his uh, brothers and the Israeli army is on one side and on the other side of the Philistines. And, you know, a whole army against one, coming up against one giant. And they say they're, they're giant. They say they're champion. He's, he challenged for somebody to come. Nobody in the Israeli army was talking about God until David got there. You know what? Nobody's talking about God wherever you happen to be until you show up. Are you going to start talking about them, about God? You know, they say all kinds of negative things that you don't want to hear. Are you saying things about God? Are you bringing God up in your conversation? Or are you ashamed? He says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. But it wasn't uh, the giants that defeated, that defeated them. It was the words they spoke on a daily basis as you go out and face these giants. Say, hey, I can do all things through Christ. I'm going out there, and I'm going to put some of these giants on the run. Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You start confessing these words, and man, I'm ready for some giants. Yeah. There may be giants to the world, but they're not giants to God. Because greater is he. He's greater than anything. He's bigger than anything. Praise God. The words they spoke defeated them. Victory be uh, begins with believing God's word and stepping out in faith on a daily basis. Yea, he says, we walk by faith and not by sight. If you're walking by sight, things are gonna scare you. You know, I was gonna mention this morning more about 2 Timothy chapter three. Go there one time, you know, and just read verses uh, one through by like 14, 15, and you'll see. It says in the last days, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. So soldier of God, prepare yourself. And get yourself right with God and stay focused and feed on Him so that you don't have to go and fear. You say, man, you don't have to fear. When well, you build yourself up so you can step out in faith and not in fear. Mm -hmm. I have no, no, no fear. I'm stepping out in faith. It doesn't matter what the circumstances, conditions, situations, surroundings, or environment look like. The cares, the worries, anxieties, and problems. You hear all these things all the time. Like I said, a lot of times we magnify these before we magnify God. It doesn't matter what the odds look like. Remember David and Goliath. That's one of the greatest examples. The walls of Jericho says, man, nobody can knock them things down but God. And then he, he, he uh, told Joshua what to do. Great general Joshua, he said, put the worshipers up front. I'm a general. I know how to fight the enemy. And you're telling me how to do this. Oh, yes, God. <laughs> we have to remember. Do it his way, not my way. When you do it God's way, you win. When we don't do it God's way, we, we lose. It, it happens all the time. They put the worshipers up front. And the walls of Jericho, the great walls of Jericho, came tumbling down. Since when the army, Israeli army, marched in, they marched in. That was, I mean, they was flat. Amen. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what the odds look like. God's ability is not affected by our circumstances. Amen. You got to remember, you got to know your God and how great he is. And we can do all things through him. So let's, let's remember this. You know, before you step out, know who's with you. And who's backing you? He says, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. He's with me. But you know your mind is going to tell you, uh, you know, you can't do this. He's going to try to put fear on you. He's going to try to put distractions on you. He's going to try to come against you totally. I say, uh-uh. 
renew your mind. Mind, line up with the word of God. Renew your mind on it. As often as needed. Doesn't say once a day, but as often as needed. We need to we need to do this. Amen. Uh, Psalms 118, 24 says what? This is the day the Lord has made. It says we or I, what translation are you reading? I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh man, another day. Ooh, you know, we always, always, always hear this. Thank God it's Friday. Oh. <laughs> but we never say, man, thank God it's Monday. No. no. <laughs> man, man, thank God it's Sunday. I get to go to church. No. <laughs> Just Friday. Oh, man, we get the weekend off. Praise God. No, he says, this is the day the Lord has gave me. I will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. You know, when you have the victory in Jesus, when you have the victory in you, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what it looks on outside. It could be raining. It could be snowing. Mm -hmm. I can't go outside. But guess what? Who says you have to go outside to be blessed? Amen. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to go outside. You can do what you need to do right here. Amen. So, I mean, on the inside or wherever you're at, man, you could be driving or you could be at the home and uh, and still be able to fulfill whatever God wants you to do mm -hmm. by praying, talking to Him, or whatever the situation may be. Praise uh -huh. God. But I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. But you know, in the world, if you get into the news, if you get into, uh, I mean, this world bombards you with negative oh, things yes. all the time, you know. So if you're focused on that, it's going to drive you crazy. It's going to just uh, say, oh, man, I can't do this, you know. If my mind is just um, going out and doing whatever work, you know, hey, you're defeated already because you can't go because whatever the situation is, maybe uh, it's, it's raining, it's snowing, whatever. Still, you could have the victory. Yes. Since we're not fighting for victory, we're fighting from victory because of what Jesus has already done for us. Remember, he's paid the price in full. You know, he didn't forget anything. You know, a uh, lot, of, lot of things going around right now saying, oh, this is a new thing. Like, Jesus forgot something. <laughs> he didn't forget anything. Didn't forget his word right covers it all. Yes. From A to Z and back to A. It. And it, it's all there. So if all somebody's that. just saying, hey, this is new, mm -hmm. you know, the thing about it is that you are a new creature in Christ now. The old is gone, the new is in. When you yes. receive Jesus, you're going to save you. Mm -hmm. The old is gone, the new is in. Mm -hmm. The world's going to try to keep you in the old. Yeah, yeah. But the Bible says you're a new creature. You had a spiritual birth. Yes. Amen. You had a spiritual birth. You was born again. We're called born again believers or born again Christians. What well, a spiritually born again. Now I'm a new, new person in Christ. The old is gone, the new is in. You got to remember because. The world, people, friends are going to hold you to it and say, you're still the same person. No, I had a spiritual birth. Win or lose, positive or negative, here's the thing is, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. You have a choice, and the choice is this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what Jesus did, mm -hmm. so I have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. Yeah. That's my choice. Death and life are your choice. You can have what you say. Yes. That's what the Word of God says. You can have what you say. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say the right things. I'm going to practice my say-sos. This is what the Word of God says. So Jesus says, mm -hmm. Jesus says, so I'm going to say what the Word of God says. Say your say-so. Practice on your say-sos. You can have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. That's your choice if you choose. I'm not going to try to just say something out of line because I want to impress somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still stand on what the Word of God says. If I have to say something to impress somebody, mm -hmm. I just want to say it. That's it. Amen. I think we was here yesterday to uh, kind of straighten out for prepare preparations for today and something came up. We were talking, Patricia and I, and uh, since church, we don't come and assemble ourselves together to be entertained. Mm -hmm. We come and assemble ourselves together to be empowered mm -hmm. by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Encourage one another and says, hey brother, hey sister, you can go and do all things through Christ. You know, I just wanted to let you know that I've been praying for you. Amen. 
I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm there for you. I've got your back. You know, I, I, I'm praying. I'm praying for you. Yeah. I'm there with you. I know what you're going through. I've been through some of that. You know, so let's remember that we're we're not being entertained. And if you're come, if you're going to church to be entertained, mm -hmm. uh, who's singing the latest or who's doing what the latest or or whatever? That's not what it's about. Yeah. It's about being empowered yeah. in the things of God, in the Word yeah. of God. Amen. And let you know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. Victory is mine. Knowing his word is knowing is knowing his word is knowing the truth. Yes. The Bible says the truth is going to set you free. Yes. From whatever mindsets, from whatever traditions, from whatever things have come against you mm -hmm. or held you back. Yeah. No longer that don't have to happen anymore. Yes. It's going to set you free from all these things. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is get in, get with him. Spend time with him, Amen. get his, in his word, renew your mind, and start confessing the right things. And get what? You're going to get up and you're going to start pressing. Okay, Lord, what is it you want me to do? Yeah. He wouldn't have put you here if you weren't qualified. That's it. You're here because he qualified you, and you're here because he gave you a mission. Mm -hmm. And you have a mission. We just haven't fulfilled our mission. But it's never too late. You can start now and start okay. pressing and doing for him. You know, we just need to spend time with him so we can know him. Yeah. When we get to know him, he already knows all about you. And he knows your worst and loves you the most. Mm -hmm. But it's now, it's our time to get to know him and spend time with him so that we can know, hey, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, for picking me. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, for choosing me. Yes. Now, all I have to do is believe, obey, commit, and make myself available mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bible says jesus came he didn't come to serve he didn't come to to be served he came to serve mm -hmm. and he's our greatest example if jesus come to serve so can we yes oh you know hey i yeah. work all week and when i if i come to church i, I just come to sit well mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, yeah. we just need to be released <laughs> from that <laughs> john 8 32 says and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free First John 5, 4 and 5 says in the King James, For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is that that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. And the easy to read version says this, Because everyone who is a, a child of God has the power to win against the world. It is our faith that has won the victory against the world. So who wins against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. So you've been empowered. <laughs> you've been empowered and you need to stay empowered on a daily basis. Not just once in a while, you know. Hey, your car is a great tool. And it'll take you places, but what do you have to do? You got to make sure that you keep fuel in it. You got to make sure the tires are well. You got to make sure maintenance is well. But well, we got to do that on a on a on a daily basis too. We got to keep ourselves spiritually fit, not just physically fit. Remember, you you're a three three being. Your spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a physical body, mm -hmm. and you got to keep all fit. Amen. Spirit, you feed the word of God. Your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions, you got to renew with the word of God, and your 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 body. You have to crucify. Your body just wants comfy stuff. It wants easy stuff. It wants to be lazy. The other two, <laughs> says, Spirit says, hey, we got to go for Jesus. Your mind says, yes, we have to go press on for Jesus. And your flesh says, no. Well, the other two is going to drag him. He's got to go. He's got to go. I got to go. Amen. If you think you're fighting and losing battle, fear not. Know that you can have victory in Jesus. Learn to stand in his victory. Learn to be a winner for you, for Jesus, you know, <laughs> and his truth, his freedom. Jesus, you know, if you want a Bible hero, if you want a role model, that's the greatest role model you can have. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you know, he wasn't no wimp. <laughs> he wasn't no wimp. He wasn't no loser. I mean, what he did, what he went through, we don't even come close to what he went through. And he made it through. And then before he surrendered himself to the Father, he says, you know, <laughs> they've done all these things to me. I could call a legion of angels to come and, and, and rescue me and just forget about all these people and what they've done to me. 
knowing says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And he came and fulfilled his mission. Now he wants us to go on a mission that he's sending us. And we can fulfill that mission because he is with us. Amen. And say, hey, guess what? You're going to have troubles. And you know what? He says, I had those troubles, but I overcame the world. And so can you. Amen. Woo, man. Hallelujah. Yes. So in order to do all this, guess what? He says in Ephesians, you can mark this down. I'm not going to read it all to you, but it says in Ephesians 6, chapter chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. He, he talks about, well, I'll read you a little bit of it, but mm -hmm. he talks about putting on the whole armor of God yes. or the full armor of God yes. on a daily basis. you got to keep this armor on because, oh, yeah. listen, we fight a spiritual battle. Amen. You cannot defeat a spiritual battle with the flesh. That's it. If you're uh, attacking it with the flesh, you lose. Mm -hmm. But if you attack the spiritual battle with the Word of God, mm -hmm. spiritual, it, it, you, you, you win. Amen? But this is just the beginning. It says, uh, in, in the New King James, it says, verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to be strong in? The in Lord. the Lord and in the power of His might. Mm -hmm. And verse 11 says, But, he says, put on the whole armor of God. You yes. say half. It says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. Yeah. Because here's the thing. You don't fight your neighbor. You don't fight your brother, mm -hmm. sister. You don't fight the person next to you. That's it. Says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Therefore, take on... Uh, verse 13 says, For well, take on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yes. And having done all to stand, verse 14 says, Stand. <laughs> so you know what? Uh, you go, you have to stand. You you need a good uh, foundation. Yes. And that foundation is Jesus. Mm -hmm. That foundation is the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you got to dig some deep roots in that. Mm -hmm. Amen. On a, on a daily basis, we got to stay connected to the source. Yes, we do. Amen. You got to uh, stay uh, attached to the vine. He's the vine and we're the branches. Amen. We're going to get all our strength and all our energy from Him as we spend time and visit with Him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. And it goes on to talk about. What 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 the whole army is, Amen. Mm -hmm. So just go Ephesians chapter six verses ten, ten through eighteen. It tells you again, fear not, church. Mm -hmm. If you feel the cares, the worries of the world, defeated, lonely, hopelessness, or hopeless, uh, falsely accused, <laughs> feel the word. Uh, the world is at an end. It is. It's coming to an end. Oh yeah. Amen. And all the signs are pointing to Jesus coming back. He told him, I'm coming back. And he, and he is. He's coming back. But remember, when you all these things coming against you, if you think of it in the flesh, you're going to fear the cares, the worries, the defeat, the hopelessness, uh, uh, loneliness, being accused. Remember, 2 Timothy uh, 1 and 7 in the New King James says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear. But a power of love and of a sound mind. Know that Jesus paid the price in full. Yes. He is your sure victory. Yes. Amen. You think about David coming against a giant. It was impossible. But with God, it is all possible. <laughs> and Jonah in the belly of the whale, the three Hebrew children, mm. man, they threw them in. The people that threw them in were uh, dying. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Peter, listen to this. Peter denied uh, Jesus three times. He said, Well, you know what? You sinned against Jesus, so Jesus can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Peter wanted to fight for Jesus. He said, No. He says, That's okay. He says, Before the night's over, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And he did. So, guess what? Hey, I'm not going to use you anymore. And people will tell you that. So you got to be grounded in the word when people tell you God can't use you anymore mm -hmm. because you've done this, you've gone through this, and this, and this, and this. So, you know, you can't join our church. You can't join the body of Christ because of all your past. Mm -hmm. If you accept Christ, you don't have to be in the church. You don't have to be in the <laughs> church building. You all accept right, Christ. Just, and he says, just. the old is gone, the new is in. Mm -hmm. I had a spiritual life. 
forgettable people are holding you down too. You know, <laughs> since my destiny is not in your mouth. That's it. Amen. My destiny is in Christ. Amen. amen. And the words that I speak, praise God. Amen. So, listen to this. Uh, second uh, Acts 2 and, and uh, 41 in the Amplified. So then those who uh, accepted his message, Peter was God, Jesus used Peter to deliver this message. So he used him. Even though he denied him three times, he still used him. He says, on that day about 3,000 souls were added to the body of yes. believers, to the body of Christ. First time, 3,000. The second time, Acts 1, 4, says another 5,000 men were saved. That's not including women and children. Another 5,000 came to Christ. Amen. So, man, that was the essence. Say, number of souls saved was probably around 10 to 15,000. God used it mightily. God wants to use you mightily. Amen. And don't let nobody hold you back. Mm -hmm. That's not what the Word of God says. So, I'm not going to receive that. Know what the Word of God says so you don't have to accept any defeats. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have to have somebody hold you back your destiny is not in what they're saying yes, your destiny is in the word of God says for you yeah. amen but church there is always hope for you and me in uh, 1 Timothy 6, uh, 6 uh, and 12 in the amplified says fight the good fight of faith mm -hmm. this is a daily basis we can fight a good fight of faith you want to spend time with him yeah. as soon as you get up you know let him be with you let him be in your in, in, in the words you speak and I said, you know, hey, we got a fight going on. There's a spiritual battle going on, on the, all the time. Mm -hmm. And you're part of it. So get with him and get in the Word. So you know that as you go and you get in these battles, you know that you're winning. I have victory in Jesus. I already know I'm on a winning team. Yeah. Amen. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is very, very strong and very powerful, you know. <laughs> all these gamblers, you know. Or they depend on what Vegas is bidding on, you know. <laughs> what, what's the odds, you know? I mean, all these games, all these teams, you know, depend on what Vegas is going to do. Well, all of us Christians, we depend on what the Word of God says. Yes, yes, and we're standing yes. on what the Word of God says, not yes. what Vegas says. Amen? So it's a spiritual battle. But we're going to fight the good fight of faith. Yes. And uh, uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 12 in the Amplified says, Fight the good fight of faith in the conflict with the evil. That's what you're going to be fighting. Mm -hmm. Amen. For evil. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called. Mm -hmm. And for which you made the good confession of faith. In the presence of many witnesses. Yeah. Amen. So yeah. let's remember this. Remember that you can do all things through Christ. Things. The good fight of faith is on a daily basis. We also fight a spiritual battle daily the mind is the battlefield so keep your mind renewed mm -hmm. and uh not once a day says how many times mm -hmm. whatever times it takes mm -hmm. do it renew it yes remind myself you know hey you know you're being attacked you're thinking of it mm. it's bad so say wait i renew my mind with the word of god I, re I delete that. I delete all the negative stuff. Romans 12, 1 and 2 in New King James says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, mm -hmm. that you present your bodies and live a sacrifice, yes, holy and yes. acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Yes. And do not be conformed to this world. Listen, amplify it. I mean the King James. New King James says, do not be conformed to this world. Mm -hmm. Don't imitate. Don't obey. Mm -hmm. Adapt or fit in or follow the crowd we always want to follow the crowd you know everybody's going this way so i need to go this way if you're in tune with god and god says take the left <laughs> then go left don't go with the crowd if they go in the wrong way okay so do not imitate i think we it was last week we, we read ephesians you go to ephesians let me read it to you if you want to mark this down ephesians chapter 5 and verse 5 and 2 in the uh, Amplified. I like it from the Amplified. Because 
uh, Ephesians chapter 5, 1 and 2, and the Amplified says this. Therefore, be imitators of God. Be imitators of God, okay? It says, copy him and follow his examples as well-beloved children imitate their father. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 says, and walk in love, mm -hmm. esteeming and delighting in one another as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a slain offering and sacrifice for God, up yes. uh, to God for you so that it so that it became a sweet fragrance. In the uh, in the King James it talks about this. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as uh, dear children. And verse two says, Walk in love, mm -hmm. as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself up for us, mm -hmm. an offering and a sacrifice uh -huh. to God for a sweet no. smelling savor. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be imitators of him. You want to roll my you want to roll a hero? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. You know, imitate him, copy him. Amen. Just as a child wants to copy his father, you know. Copy him. Praise God. Yeah. Where'd I go? So instead, meditate on, 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 instead it says, uh, well, I'm not finished. It says imitate, uh, obey, adapt, fit in, follow, follow the, don't follow the crowd. Mm -hmm. Be transformed. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be transformed. That means I'm going to be changed. Mm -hmm. and remember, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I'm going to be changed. Yes. The old is out. Yeah. The new is in. Amen. And you got to stand on your ground, and you got to stand because yeah. everything else is going to the enemy, oh, yeah. or whoever he uses is going to come totally against you and hold your past against you oh, and try to keep you prisoner of your past. Mm -hmm. But you're not prisoner of your past anymore because he says, "Old is out, the new is in." I'm a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to press on with the things of God. You know what? If God forgot about it and forgave me and forgot about it, so can I. Yeah. Let it go. And you know, sometimes that's where you get new friends. Oh. And God's going to bring new people and oh new company gosh. around you. Because yes. your old company is still holding the past against you. Mm -hmm. And they still want to hang out with you and drag you back into the same old stuff. Mm -hmm. But God, Jesus, he's going to send new people that are going to help you, pray for you, encourage you. Yes. And that's what you want. i got new yeah. people. And he's going to send some for a season. Some for a short time, mm -hmm. some for a midterm, some for a full term, life term. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Yeah. He knows what's, what's good for you. And he, these people are going to now encourage you, bless you, and help you, and support you. You know, you never know when you get to heaven one day, you're going to find out people come all around you, and you don't know these people. Mm -hmm. Says God put you in my heart, mm -hmm. and I prayed for you many times when you was down and out. I prayed for you. I was there for you. You're going to meet the whole new family of, of friends that you never knew you had that actually prayed for you. Yeah. You know, if you ever commit to somebody and say, you know, I'm going to pray for you, mm -hmm. do so. Yes. Don't don't wait and don't just say words mm -hmm. just to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. But pray for them. Yes. Let them know I'm praying for you. You know, mm -hmm. hallelujah. That's for somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, You'll be transformed. You're going to be changed. You're going to be altered. You're going to be uh, different. Yes. Amen. For sure. You're going to be different. Improved. So again, Second Corinthians five seventeen, by the renewing of your mind. So you know, if you don't renew your mind, you're just going to fall back to the same old stuff, mm -hmm. and you're going to get back to that vomit. No. You know, you're going to get back to the old uh, old company. Mm -hmm. You're going to get back to the same old stuff. But if you renew your mind, you're not going back there no more. No, I don't want to go there no more. That's not for me. God's got new things for me. Yeah. He's not finished with me. Amen. Woo, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Philippians 4 and 8 says this. You can mark this down. Philippians 4 and 8. New King James says, Finally, my brother, whatever things are true, oh, yeah. whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, mm -hmm. whatever things are lovely, Whatever things yes. are of good report, if there be any virtue in the in in it, uh -huh. there it is knowledge. anything. Says so praiseworthy. Mm -hmm. Meditate on these things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Meditate on these things. Praise God. 
Thank you, Lord. The list of things that will be transformed, yeah. renewed, changed, altered, revised, correct. The mind of a believer. Our human flesh and the whispers of Satan war against the mind. But Paul gives solid instruction for winning the battle of the mind. Yes, Renew your mind. Mm -hmm. So he's going to whisper things to you. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to listen to those That's anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Him out. Amen. Just get rid of him. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians five, uh, five. Excuse me. First Corinthians fifteen, verses uh, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. In the easy to read version, it says, "But we thank God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ." So, my dear friends and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Mm -hmm. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord and you yeah. know that your work is the Lord in the Lord is never wasted. Your work in the Lord is never wasted time. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he wants to bless you and he's going to bless you. And I, I told the church family earlier, he wants to uh, He wants to bless you so that you can be a blessing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He wants to bless you so that you don't have to be stressed out anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he wants to bless you. My daily attitude is this. Victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Victory in Jesus. Victory is mine in Him. Love is mine. Joy is mine. Peace is mine. Happiness is mine. Mm -hmm. Prosperity is mine. Every promise in the Bible can be and are yours yes. now. I mean, everything in that Bible is for you. It's for us. Mm -hmm. We just got to get in it and dig it out. Study to show yourself approved. Yes. That, that means you on, yes. a, on a daily basis. I'm learning yeah. one day at a time. I'm growing one day at a time. The main thing is this. We're maturing. We're growing. That's the thing. You know, if you're a teacher, you know, you want your children, you want your students to mature and grow. You don't want them to stay the same the whole That's time. That's right. That's right. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to grow and mature in a daily basis you know a baby doesn't stay a baby forever no Lord, you, know, not you have to change him you have to feed him but you know come a time when he's grown or she's grown and they know how to clean themselves they know how to feed themselves they know how to do for themselves but still parent you you bible says train your children the way they should go you train them to go the right way you train them to go in god's way just because school or whoever got rid of the word of God or the name of God doesn't mean that it happens to you or it happened in your home. You're still teaching the things yes. of God. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. God. <laughs> God cannot lie. So every time he says he's going to do, he's going to do. You yes. can count on it. And you, he promised. Yes, he did. Confess this constantly on a daily basis. And you can say, victory is mine on a daily basis. We sing this song all the time. It says, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Yes. Amen. You can write that. You can, you can write that somewhere where you can see it often. That says, victory today is mine. And you can say, tomorrow is the same thing. Victory yes. today is mine. Yes. You know, Satan hates, hates to hear that. If somebody around you is going to hear that and they're going to ask you, what are you talking about, Victor? Yeah. Well, you know, hey, God, through Him, He's my Lord and Savior, and I have victory in Him mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And you can have the same thing. Yes. Really. But nobody ever told me that. That's right. And you was there to be the first one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. It yeah. says, victory is mine today. Yes. Victory today is mine. It says, I told Satan, Get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. Amen. I told Satan, you know what? Nobody can put Satan on the run like you can. Yeah. You don't wait for pastor. You don't wait for brother, holy so-and-so, or sister, holy sister, so-and-so. You, yourself. Hey, I've got the word in me, so I'm going to put it to use. I'm going to speak it out. i got to release it, confess it, and say, hey, you know what? I put you on the run. It says, I submit myself to God. Mm -hmm. I resist you. I'm taking authority over you. And I'm commanding you to go. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. He's got to flee. Yes. Because the word of God says so. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Put the devil on the run and him instead of him putting you on the run all the time. So listen, victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. Sing it, speak it, confess it. Amen. Sing it, speak it, confess it. Write it down where you can see it. Amen. I mean, this is good. I mean, the spoken word is, I mean, it is right, my word. You speak it out, you know. It'll go and accomplish what it has, yes. what God sent it out to do. That's and it. it's going to, it's going to, it's going to fulfill. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory mm -hmm. because of what Jesus has already done for us. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you this, but write this down also. Okay. And, and post it. Vic I have victory in Jesus daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have victory in Jesus daily. We all have a choice to make daily. To yes. trust Jesus and live in victory or to trust the flesh and be a victim or live in defeat and fear. Uh -huh. So be victorious and have victory and not be a victim. Yes, yes. You don't have to put up with it. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> the enemy or whatever distraction is coming against you or whatever habit, yeah. you got to break. You can break Amen. it. Amen. With the word of God, confess the word, and you can have be a, be victorious and not be a victim of this. Okay. Jesus is busy behind the scenes to bless you and to show you favor. He's seated at the right hand of God, interceding for us. Mm -hmm. Mark sixteen and nineteen says this: When Jesus, <clears throat> when the Lord Jesus had finished talking with them, <clears throat> he told his disciples, "Go into all the world." Let's let's go there. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Mark uh, chapter sixteen. Yeah. I want you to see this and I want you to highlight it, personalize it, and put your name in. It's in the book of Mark. It's in the book of Mark, chapter 16. Let's start at verse 15. Verse 15 says, And he said unto them, Now Jesus is talking, it's in the red. I don't know about, about yours, but mine's in the red. Just go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. So there's a lot of creatures out there, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about people. There's yes. people everywhere you go. Yes. So guess what? It's, it's a harvest is there. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's people there. Yes. So we need to share his word to all these people. Go into all the world. That means, don't mean you go overseas. That means wherever you happen to be. Yes. Wherever you work. Wherever you go and eat. You know, uh, restaurant, uh, wherever you go shop. That's your world. And go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth and baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. Mm -hmm. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. This is us. The word of God says, these signs yes. follow us. And what does it say? In my name, right. they shall cast out devils. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to come get pastor. You don't have to come get... <laughs> Holy brother or holy sister. <laughs> says, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. come out. Yeah. He has to come. Yeah. You know? Spirits, evil spirits, need a, a body to live in. Oh, my and you know, they find somebody mm -hmm. and they'll get in there. Remember when Jesus was talking to Legion? He came, when he saw Jesus, he came to, to, to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, who are you? He says, I am legion. He says, because we are many. Mm -hmm. I mean, thousands come out of that one person. says, mm -hmm. bring us to go into those pigs over there. Mm -hmm. they, they needed a body. So he says, go. That's all he said was go. So you know what? You can confess the word of God and speak to these things. Mm -hmm. To go in Jesus' name. He says, in my name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. In my name you shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And verse 18 says, They, they shall uh, take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Yeah. You know what? That's what I say, you know. <laughs> lay hands on yourself. By Jesus' stripes, I'm here. That's what the Word of God says. So body line up with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Receive your healing now. I receive my healing right now in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. And now the worst... 
uh, 19 is the one I was telling you about. It says, So then after Jesus had spoken unto them, he was received into heaven and sat at the right hand of God. Yes. Amen. He sat at the right hand of God and they went They went forth and preached uh, everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming uh, the word with signs following. But still, he went and he said at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. The right hand of the Father is a place of authority. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he says he intercedes for us believers. Mm -hmm. So he didn't forget about you. We forget about him. Because we may get too distracted in the things of, uh, of the world. So let's uh, get our minds right. Renew our minds so we can stay focused on doing the Lord's work. Amen. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to stop right there. Amen. I gotta remem re remember for you. Remember, part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. We got to stay busy in the things of God and grow in the things of God. And the only way we're gonna do it is by opening the word and getting into the word and letting the word get into us. And if it gets into us, he says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. That word is gonna come out. Yeah. And it's going to speak and go and accomplish what it goes out to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, praise God. Thank you, Lord. So, have victory in Him on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It says, in closing, have victory in Jesus daily. Everything we will ever need for the victory in every situation was provided for us at the yes. cross. Yes. That's why we can confidently say this. Victory is mine. The victory is always mine when I put my faith and trust in the Lord's amazing abilities instead of my own abilities. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle, and you have to get in the Word and confess the Word, and that's the only thing that can defeat Amen. the spiritual battle. Amen? So, praise, praise God. God. Hallelujah. Did you receive? Yes. <laughs> well, that's a good word. <laughs> receive. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those of you that are watching, I just want you to know that God's not finished with you. As a matter of fact, but we need to receive Him. You know, if you haven't received Him, you know we need to stop running and receive Him and get busy for Him. Amen. Amen. So, all you need to do is say, Lord, I, 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 I confess. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Anybody, say, confess this. And yes. Jesus is going to come. He's going to be your Lord and Savior yes. from this day on. I confess them. It says, if I confess, Amen. He is going to come and be my Lord and Savior. And I want you to come and be my Lord and Savior. And start living for Him. Amen. Yeah. Get, in, get, in, get in a Bible-based church where you can start learning the Word of God. Get you a Bible. Start reading the Word. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's no respect of persons. That's it. He loves you just like anybody else. And He put you here so that you can go on His mission that He's got for you. He's not finished with you. We're just getting started. Amen. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, I just told him, well, you heard I just told the family here, church family, I lay hands on myself. Say, by Jesus Christ I'm healed. That's what the Word of God says. So any malfunctions in this body, I just command you to function well and just the way He cre He created me to those things to function in Jesus' name. He's your Creator. He knows you better than anyone else, and He put those things there. So. Father, I thank you that I'm healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet and body line up with the word of God and receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Whatever part of your body needs to touch, amen, he knows it all. And I thank you, Father, that I am healed totally in Jesus' name. So body line up with the word of God in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time to give. <laughs> if you're watching, listening, like to give, you tithe the offerings, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Just hit that donate button if you're mailing it. MB, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now you can uh, cash app at New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. So God bless you. God loves you and we love you. Amen.